when you were 12 years old yeah. and dreaming yeah. about what you wanted to be, yeah. what was a dream like? Yeah, this was, uh, this was very simple. Um, I, was, uh, uh, I decided to become an engineer already at the age of, I would say, five. Yeah? So my father was an, uh, was an engineer too. Um, he was um, head of uh, engineering in a, in a German uh, locomotive uh, fact, uh, company. So, so once a year I visited the, 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 this company here when they had an open door and, and I saw these big machines and then the decision was clear, okay, you will also do this. Um, I didn't end up in locomotives, yeah, uh, but in cars. Yeah? So, so this was, I must say, clear from... So I never had any difficulty in finding uh, or deciding what, 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 to, what to do and what to become. If today you have to explain to a 12-year-old what you yeah. do, what your job is now, yeah. what would you say? <laughs> this is this is hard to say, yeah. As uh, uh, for somebody, uh, for somebody not familiar with, with engineering work, he sees that these guys are sitting behind computers and they are sitting in meeting rooms and discussing. So, so it's not not easy to explain. Uh, but uh, um, I mean, designing something. Uh, is really, uh, I would say, a very rewarding activity. Yeah? So, so you, you, you are creating something. So I, I'm, I'm a guy who very much likes to uh, get things done and move and, and do something new. Also challenge, uh, go, to the, go to the extremes. Yeah? Not, not, uh, not replicate what, uh, what others have invented already, but really go to the extremes. And, uh, and this, is, uh, this is what I think engineering can, can provide you. Yeah? So uh, and and today it's uh, also much more interesting than in previous times. In previous times, when I started, uh, we all had these uh, these drawing boards. So so it was uh, it was quite quite a work to get something done. Yeah. Today with the computers, everything is much faster. So so you get things done much quicker. Um, about uh, the iPace project, yeah. what are you most proud of? Yeah, well, the iPace project, I must say, uh, uh, first, uh, it is it is not a normal car. Yeah? It is it is not a it is not a car which uh, was uh, um, going what decided in the company uh, like cars are normally done in the company. So so you realize there's a spot in the market. Let let's uh, go for the villa. Yeah, the villa. Yeah. So so we have the we have the Range Rover Sport on one side. And we have the Evoque on the other side, so so marketing discovers there's some some space in between, and, and then you do a product and so that's a normal way how how you you get a, a, a car project. Uh, this year was uh, totally different. So we um, the the project was started at a point in time where it was absolutely not clear whether this electromobility would take off. Yeah? So, so it was clear, yes, um, um, it is the only way for sustainable mobility in the future. But when the future is going to happen, in five years, in 20 years, in 50 years, this was not clear. That was when we started this project. Actually, the project was, was decided uh, between Ralf, uh, Ralf Spät and myself. Um, and uh, we, uh, I proposed to him, let's do an electric car. And uh, uh, yes, and I, I told him, okay, we can, we can do the best electric car in the world, but it will cost some money. And uh, okay, then the decision was made, okay, we do the best electric car in the world. And at that point in time, I was heading up engineering at Jaguar Land Rover, so I could do this myself. I didn't need anybody uh, to decide. So, so no committee, nothing was involved in, 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 in the decision about this project. And then we, we also um, took the, the team out of the organization. So it's, it's very hard to, to have such a, such a project which is completely different to what the company normally does to do it in, in the normal organization. So we have taken the people out, relocated them 20 kilometers away and uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a close team, team setup. Yeah? So, so uh, the, the team, dedicated team only for this car. How many people? 
Um, initially 30, and uh, eventually in the peak 150. Yeah. And uh, and so the um, uh, we 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 basically relocated all the experts. Yeah. So 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 no hierarchy, nothing. Yeah. The, the, the guys who can do the job, they, they were included in the team. And, um, and then uh, this led us through the, the concept phase and the first, first and second round of prototypes. Prototype in this case, not full car, but, uh, uh, but uh, uh, actually different, uh, different body and uh, but new understructure. Um, the, the whole development time from um, from uh, basically clean sheet of paper to uh, uh, to first customer car uh, will be four years, which for for which is absolutely record. Yeah? So 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 from from having nothing, yeah, no no nothing, yeah, no 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 motor, no battery, nothing, yeah, to 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 first customer car. Uh, that is. Uh, is, I mean, if you think about how long Apple now uh, dis discusses about his car, uh, their car, uh, I mean, we went from from uh, from that from, from that to to customer car in four four years. Um, the the approach was, as you might have seen from the car, um, very radical. Yeah. So um, uh, some some competitors. Um, either want to resemble traditional cars, or uh, even worse, they they take a, an existing car as a basis. Um, if if you do this, you end up in a suboptimum solution. Um, so so we um, when we thought about how how would the optimum electric car look like, um, then it's uh, first what is clear is. Uh, that the battery has to be under under the floor. That that's clear. Uh, but uh, uh, as opposed to uh, to others from California, for instance, uh, where they use this uh, uh, 65 millimeter long uh, round cell, um, and and then you get a very large battery, and this then makes makes the car very very wide and uh, and big. Um, so we. Uh, we decided to, to have a higher battery, our battery is higher, also uh, um, to allow um, a larger distance from the side of the car to the first battery cell to, to be better in, in the pole impact. Um, so, um, um, so, so this was the battery and, and then regarding the, regarding the, um, the mo motor, yeah, some some cars are offered with um, with either front motor or rear motor or, or both yeah, or, or you can choose um, we took the decision from the worst moment onwards that this car will only have two motors if you if you decide you will always have two motors this gives you then the freedom to move with the wheels to the furthest outmost position in, 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 the, in the body um, which is possible. If you for instance take the decision that there is also a rear wheel drive version uh, then uh, you, you need load on the rear wheel and you must move forward with the rear wheel and then you have already the first compromise. Yeah? You, the less space for, uh, for, the, um, uh, for the battery and, and, and then you have uh, uh, um, also compromise on on drivability so 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 this is uh, um, the, the, then you come from one compromise to the other so here we have a very wide uh, a very long wheelbase so we have three meter wheelbase uh, in a car of four meter four meter 68 yeah? so 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 this is a, a huge wheelbase which normally cars of five meter plus have and a large wheelbase it, Helps very much in stability of driving, and and also gives you better better agility as as the um, as the front uh, front wheel uh, reacts uh, faster to to the the steering um, uh, to the steering of the driver. Are we, sorry to interrupt. Um, yeah. 
Ralph would like you to go and meet the boss of Formula E very quickly. Uh-huh. So it'll be okay to pause. Two questions, and then I'm done. Just two questions, and then I'm done. Yeah, okay, that's fine. No, I, have, I have so much to tell you about yeah, the motors the and the, the other make, ideas. Um, so you make thousands of decisions and lots of yeah. compromises. You're yeah. a perfectionist, that's clear to me. Yeah. Uh, what about decisions like um, the, the bus charging now is at, at 50 kilowatts? And no, 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 please. Mm. That was so really sorry for, for yeah. the miscommunication. Yes. We, we are really sorry for the miscommunication. And um, this was only, um, well, these 50 kilowatt only came up as an example, as, as, as the DC infrastructure we have today, it is more or less 50 kilowatt, limited to 50 kilowatt. Uh, you have the shadow more, um, uh, shadow more, um, uh, so on, this is 50 kilowatt. And if you would charge at 50 kilowatt, then this would come out. We can of course charge with much higher power, but Currently, the infrastructure is not there yet, so so this is not a limit. It is not a limit. So sorry for this. Is our fault. We have miscommunicated. Last question: What is your personal car? What do you drive? Um, uh, I of course will drive one of the first of these ones here. When you drive home, you take one of. Uh, currently, what I'm driving currently. Yeah. Um, currently, I uh, am driving a, a Discovery Sport. This is, I think, a wonderful car. So I need seven seats for the grandchildren. Um, yeah. How, how do you see racing? Uh, ah, Formula okay. e? uh, this is, I must say, this is uh, this is ideal here, as uh, the connection between um, racing here and what happens in the in the production car is much closer than um, than what you have in Formula One, for instance.